Hello guys and girls and welcome to tip number 13 in this 30 Photoshop tips course. In this quick tip what I'm going to do is just explain a little bit about aerial perspective. Now it sounds complicated but it's actually relatively simple when explained. So let's jump straight into Photoshop and what I have here is this picture of the mountains. And what we can see with these mountains, obviously what's in the foreground is it has different levels, it's brighter, it's more saturated um, than the mountains as we go back. So this mountain, for example, is different, is lighter to the mountain here. And this mountain on the left, again, is lighter and again, lighter and lighter and lighter. Now, this is called aerial perspective. So we're all familiar with normal perspective, the horizon line, the vanishing point. So what aerial perspective is, it takes into account the depth as well. So elements in the distance will be lighter with different levels to elements in the foreground. Now, this is how it's going to help you in your compositions when you're working in Photoshop. You need to take into account this aerial perspective when you're putting one image into another image, say it's a landscape image like the one we have here, you need to think about this aerial perspective or your image or your composition isn't going to look realistic. Now I'm just going to do a quick edit and I'm going to explain a few things and how this actually works. So I'm going to make a super quick selection of this mountain here. Very rough. And I'm just going to duplicate just create this selection and I'm just going to add this to a new layer and what I'm going to do I'm going to just add this mountain to the back here let's just change its size obviously elements further away appear smaller so let's just add that in here I'm just going to turn that off and I'm just going to create a little outline of this mountain just so we can create a mask so it looks kind of realistic ish so let's come here and make this selection Let's turn our layer back on. Let's click on the layer mask. We want the opposite of that. So I'm going to hit Command or Control I on my layer mask to invert. You can see we've got a bit extra down here. Let's just select that. Make selection. And I'm just going to fill that with black. So let's deselect. And we have our mountain here. So let's zoom out. And now we can see we took this mountain here. This mountain and placed him back here. Now look how bright this mountain looks compared to the surrounding mountains. Now this is because of aerial perspective. Now as you look through or into the distance, the colors, the saturation and the levels are going to be affected by the air, what's in the air. So air in this example is water droplets which are going to take out some of the color and the levels. So that is why in the distance things appear less saturated more washed out so when you're placing images into your composition you have to take that into account so for us here for example we've got our new mountain what we have to do what we'd have to do is just select the levels there and we'd have to adjust the level so we can reduce the amount of black let's just create a clipping mask there just set that back to how it was so let's reduce the blacks and you can see straight away that that is a better match so the black levels are reduced because you're looking through the air, which reduces those blacks. Now, also the saturation is reduced, so we can do a hue and saturation. And again, we've got our clipping mask here. Let's take the saturation down. You can see that's better. Now you can play with these. I'm doing this super quick just to show you guys. Um, but already you can see just by adjusting the saturation and the the, the levels, that we've created a better blend. Obviously the colors aren't correct. We need to adjust that and create some more edits. But as a, a quick example, that explains a little bit about aerial perspective and how it can improve your compositions. Now, what I also wanna do is show you quickly another image. We have this brighter image with the sun. I'm just gonna zoom out. And what I wanna explain and why I've chosen this image is because the aerial perspective or the change in color based on the depth is going to be relative to the colors in your image. So in this image, for example, you can see this this like mountain in the foreground. It's quite, the level's quite it's quite dark there. 
and again lighter 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 into the distance where you can just about see the mountain but what happens here is because we have this lovely sunset with all these yellow and red tones those tones are actually added to the mountains so if your image like this one is white or slightly blue uh, wash very washed out blue then those are the tones you're going to have to add if your image is like bright sunset yellows and reds then you're going to have to add yellow and red to your image so there you go that is a little explanation into aerial perspective now you should be using this in your compositions it's going to help you massively when you're sort of building your compositions or if you're working with multiple images in one composition Thank you very much for joining me in this quick tip. I shall see you in the next one.